Printing on resin, you've got to make sure you sand all the parts out so if they're going together. So these have got some fine parts, and to make them fit, you can see this does not fit, you got to do some sanding. So I rough sand, then I fine sand, and make sure you get all the areas, and then the piece will slide right in. This took a while to get this thing to fit, and then it did. I'm going to test this one. Yep, that fits. That little piece slides in there, and now I know I am good to go. I'm going to do one more dry fit to make sure I've sanded everything just right, and that it all fits together. Now we need to do this. This barrel came in two pieces because I wanted to print it on my Elegoo Mars. Of course I used too much glue, and now it's time to Bondo it, sand it, and paint. So I went ahead and airbrushed this, and I broke the airbrush out, and I'm using Vallejo uh, acrylics, just watered down uh, to work with it, and doing the bullets, doing everything, getting it all set up, and I am super happy with this finish. It's a little too bright, so I'm going to actually knock it down a little bit later, but now I need to do some details. So I'm using the blue tape to tape some things off. Now here was the scary part. I thought this was way too silver looking at the references. So I went ahead and watered down some Vallejo acrylic with a black and a tiny bit of blue and worked it into the cracks. And there's some, there's some water in there to some thin it out. And I am just painting this thing and not letting it sit too, too long and then wiping it down with a paper towel and I am super happy with how this thing turned out, this finish. It was just what it needed, that little bit of black to give it sort of a, a mottled look and not be so bright because every reference I saw, it was a darker color and I just couldn't seem to nail that when I was airbrushing it. So I was super pleased with how this turned out. I went through and did this to all the pieces to make sure that all matched up. Again, wiping it down uh, quickly with a paper towel and trying to make sure the colors were totally matched up and I think I was able to do a pretty good job with it. Okay, now I'm going to do one more uh, quick dry fit just to make sure everything is all lined up and works together. Snap that guy into place and it still spins. I'm going to put the hammer on and I decided to use a brass rod and mark it with the snippers and then cut it out later with a little uh, hacksaw. Now this does come with a file you can print, but I found it to be a little too fiddly and fine and it just didn't work well, so I used the brass. Now we're going to do the grips. This was a fun part because it was uh, wood and I always like painting wood, sort of a wood finish because it's all in getting that cool modeling appearance and how I got that is I use just a mixture of colors so I got a base brown and a yellow and a red and some black and you can see that brush is it's pretty stiff and kind of dry and I'm just I'm not pushing hard I'm sort of just raking over it because that brush has got that sort of um, really toothy uh, and rough appearance to it you get some nice sort of rake marks and I'm just going to go through this entire thing and just model it and you want to you know get uh, it's a tricky thing because you don't want it to look even and uniform so you really just work around hitting different spots and there you go and now I went ahead and painted some detail in in the pentagram and on that I'm not really sure why I went so fancy with this little fine brush I think I wanted to play with it because I'm going to go ahead and wipe this thing down anyway to really age it a little bit more now I wanted to get some like griminess to it so I'm using a paper towel some black and a little bit of water and you can see it now it looks it's got this grime to it like it's been handled it's been used and the Winchesters have taken out tons of baddies with it now we're gonna go ahead and put this pin in I cut it off and I'm just pushing it in with a file and checking my movement everything's still working really well fantastic now we're gonna glue in the um, this top part here that the cylinder will attach to and I'm just gluing it in trying not to use too much glue because I don't want that glue to seat back and make my hammer not work now we're gonna put the cylinder on and it's fitting in there still just nice so I dry fit things to make sure everything's working well you don't want to get to the end and things not fit now we're gonna attach pretty much the whole assembly here and wow I am so happy with the finish and how this thing moves it is so cool let's push this pin in that holds the cylinder in and put that little fake screw there 
And now it's time for the trigger. I went ahead and used the same type of brass uh, pin for that. I cut off and just popped in there. Again, the model comes with a pin you can print, but it's so fine and so fiddly. It just it snapped when I tried to use it, so I went with that. Ooh, it's starting to come together. Putting in the grips. These came out so well, so happy with them. To make sure they're nice and flush and they're in there, I went ahead and used a clamp. Be careful, don't clamp too hard, you might crack it. This is a hollow piece, so I could have easily went through it. Now some finishing up some details with some rub and buff and some black with some water in it, just to sort of get all those little age details. Dirt in the screws, a little bit more dirt in some of the fillery, uh, filigree, just to really give it that you know, age look in the in the corners of the handles where your hand rests. And I forgot the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that right now. And wow, I am so excited about this Colt. Supernatural is one of my favorite shows. I've watched it since episode one, and this is definitely one of my favorite props that I have created so far.